A cargo ship's been freed after running aground off the coast of Virginia Beach. The Coast Guard shared these pictures of the JSW Salem. The rising tide helped to free it. Now it's anchored near Fort Story. And some local residents are left scratching their heads, wondering how a 958-foot ship could get stuck. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd picks up our story. Well, I'm standing right outside Fort Story, which is why you got this fence right here behind me. It is a military base, so obviously they want to keep the public out. And if you pan out there in the distance, you can see the lights of that cargo ship. It went aground about two and a half miles off the coast at some point this morning. And right now, the U.S. Coast Guard is investigating what went wrong. They come by every day of the year except for Christmas. For during the course of the day, you see at least, you know, 20 or 30 of them. Paul Pataglia has lived on the north end for more than 30 years. He's seen a lot of cargo ships, but this is the first time he's seen one get too close to shore. The pilots usually do a wonderful job and keep them right in the channel. I'm surprised this happened, actually. According to the U.S. Coast Guard, the JSW Salem out of Panama was transporting 120,000 metric tons of coal when it ran aground. There were 26 people on board at the time. No one was hurt. Pataglia said he could tell something was wrong when he didn't see the ship moving. They got to get in, they got to get out. And with the amount of traffic you've got out here, they've got to keep moving. A U.S. Coast Guard response boat from Station Little Creek was brought in to assist. The JSW Salem was eventually able to refloat with the rising tide. Just in time, according to Battaglia. Well, right now we've we, we got this nor'easter blowing in. It's blowing about 20 miles an hour, and it's blowing that ship back into shore. The 958-foot-long ship remains anchored a mile from shore while the Coast Guard investigates. As for Battaglia, his biggest concern is the environment possibly the bottom of the boat being sliced open. But the Coast Guard says there is no pollution reported. The nice part about where he is, if there's anything nice at all, is that the ground is sandy. It's not rocky like, the, uh, like New England. In Virginia Beach, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.